man, doesn't that suck? You're in the middle of ripping a killer solo, whether it's at home or in the studio or even worst of all, on stage, and your pit comes flying out of your hands. And every note that follows that is the worst note you've ever played in your entire life, and it's in front of a whole audience. Or if you're in the studio, you got to do the take all over again or punch in and fix it because your pick slipped out of your hands. It's the worst. And here's the cherry on top of all of that. Every time my pick slips out of my hands, I can't believe how far away from me it lands and rolls and how many times it ends up under things that I never thought it would end up under. And it takes 20 minutes to find the darn thing. It's amazing how fast these things fight in hiding spots as soon as they hit the ground. Well, we've all been there. It's happened to every one of us. And if it hasn't happened to you yet, I'll guarantee you it will. So I have two products to show you that are great solutions to this problem. And I think anybody that plays guitar should consider using at least one or both of these. The first product I have for you is called Gorilla Snot. A lot of drummers use this to keep the sticks from falling out of their hands, and this serves as a dual purpose product. It's for drummers and for guitar players. And basically all you have to do is just dip your thumb in there and get a little bit on it, and the pick actually sticks to your skin. And it won't come off unless you shake it hard or, you know, take it off physically so that actually works really good now a couple of tips about this product if you put too much on it's very tacky and if you're like me and you do a lot of tapping and stuff you could possibly trust that it'll stay on your thumb while you're doing tapping but I like to switch it to my you know to my middle finger uh, and do the tapping and then switch it back so if you have too much of it on there it's gonna be a little hard to do that quick switch so just make sure you don't put too much on. I mean, this stuff is really tacky. I mean, I'll bet if you put it on all of your fingers, you could probably climb walls like Spider-Man. This stuff's ridiculous. And I think one little tub of this would probably last you several years because you only need just a dab on your thumb and you're good. This stuff works really well. It washes off easily and it'll come right off your pick uh, after the show, uh, no problem. And it'll actually last a whole show and even a practice session or a studio session. So it's definitely something that I want to keep with me. Especially if you're under the hot lights or if you're playing an outdoor gig and it's really hot out and your hands are going to sweat a lot. I mean, this stuff to me is a must-have product when you're playing gigs like that. But I keep it in my gig bag no matter what because you never know when you're going to have one of those nights where your skin is just not sticking to the pick the way you want it to. Basically what I would suggest is that you use it no matter what because then you'll never have to worry about it. I mean it's still stuck to my thumb and I put a little teeny dab on. This stuff works really really well. Once again use it modestly. Just use a teeny bit. That's really all you need and it works very well. Actually another thing I like about it too is if you use a modest amount like I suggested uh, it allows you to adjust the pick because sometimes we all want to choke up on the pick or loosen up on it a little bit depending on what kind of riffs we're playing and it allows you to do that really easily and it stays in the spot very well for you so I mean as you can see it's on my thumb it's not coming off I mean this stuff works really really well once again washes off very easily cleans off the pick very easily doesn't leave a residue or anything like that and I highly, highly recommend this product for you. So here's another product that I would recommend, Monster Grips. It's basically a pick grip that has an adhesive on one side that you stick to your pick, probably on the thumb side, and it keeps the pick from sliding around and uh, falling out of your hands. I'm gonna give this a try and tell you what I think about it. I've never used these before. Okay, it looks like you get 16 in a pack. I'm going to take this and put it on one of my picks and see how well it works. Wow, it actually is grippy, but it's very comfortable. 
this a lot I think either one of these products would work for you and in fact what I suggest is because they're so inexpensive is that you buy one of each and try them out because I'm sure they're good for different scenarios and now you have two options depending on what your scenario is I find these to be very comfortable and uh, I'm sure it'll last a long time and it's not coming off I mean it's stuck on my pick really well and it's still easy to choke up on the pick or loosen up on it. It allows me to move around a little bit, but uh, it doesn't slip out of my, my hand. So you have, so basically what you have is Gorilla Snot, if you want the pick to actually stick to your skin, and you have Monster Grips, which has an adhesive on one side and a grippy surface on the other that you could put on your pick, and you can move the pick around. It won't stick to your skin, but at least it won't slip out of your skin either. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking, like, why would I want to stick a pick grip to one of my picks when I go through picks like crazy and it's kind of a waste of money because every time I throw the pick out, well, the pick grip that I paid for goes with it. I get that. Um, if you're throwing your picks out every week or every few days, I mean, frankly, you're using the wrong picks. I mean, I play every day for at least two hours a day, and my picks last me up to at least six months to a year. Now the reason for that is I use high quality picks. I use gravity picks. Uh, this one here is a V pick and this is an amazing pick that should last a long time. And I use chicken picks and I'm also trying out wind spear picks as well. And all of those picks last a very long time. So something like that would be a better investment for you because if you really think about it, yeah, you pay a little more for the pick up front, but down the road, it's gonna last you longer and perform way better for you and not wear down as quickly and it's going to sound better and play better and feel better so you could spend a little bit of money every week on picks or you can spend a little bit more every six months it's up to you but i would definitely consider one of those or all of those brands try those out i'm going to be doing a review of all of those very soon all together and tell you what i think of them but i can tell you this for sure if you're throwing out your picks every week then you're using the wrong ones. Those 45 cent picks just don't cut it. I mean, they're okay for throwing out to the crowd, but I would never play my guitar with them because they just don't sound good or feel good or last that long. I would wear one of those down in a couple practice sessions. So who would I recommend Monster Grips and Gorilla Snot to? Anybody who plays guitar or bass and uses a pick. I mean, if you're on stage and you're underneath the lights, it gets hot and your hands sweat you're guaranteed to up your chances of dropping a pick in that situation. If you have one of these products with you, that guarantee of dropping the pick goes way down, and I would assure you that you won't have to worry about getting pantsed in front of your audience by your pick falling out of your hands. So I would definitely recommend that. I have red light syndrome, so like whenever I go in the studio, I get a little uptight and sweaty, and I can feel the pick almost melting in my hands. And if I have one of these products with me, I don't have to worry about it falling out on one of the takes. And I've been there. I've shredded a solo, and I got almost to the end, and the pick slipped. And it didn't always have to slip out of my hand, but it just slipped out of position, so I couldn't play the rest of the solo. And I had to stop, and I had to punch in and fix that. Or if I have a product like this, I don't have to worry about that scenario anymore. The other thing, too, is if you're playing outdoor gigs, we all know it gets hot outside. Sometimes it's really hot out and you have the lights on you, which is a double whammy, and your hands are going to sweat like crazy. This is definitely a good insurance policy against dropping a pick. So here's the thing. I'm going to post some links below so you can try these products out for yourself. And if you know of any other products out there that are similar to this, please let me know, and I'll be happy to check that out and review that as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful for your guitar playing. 
And uh, I definitely have a lot of great stuff coming up. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And make sure you hit the bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new episode or go live. Well, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Where'd it go? Where's my pick? Okay. This is for real. This is like real shit here. I lost my pick. <laughs> here I am fake dropping my pick so I can do this video and I really lost it. I don't see it anywhere. Oh. Of course. Go under the pedal board. Why don't you? Oh, that was fun.